beliefs, and that's again something which I think is really cool. <laughs> so yeah, give yourself a round of applause if you uh, you really speak up what you believe in. <laughs> and look for quality in your clothes. This is a really important issue. Look for the quality in terms of uh, style and longevity, but also in, in the way it's made. It's going to last longer. And also, and um, try and understand if, if there's been uh, value in the uh, life of the person who's made the clothes. So this is, let's talk about the five uh, R's of fashion. So it's quite self-explanatory, reduce, reuse, rewear, repair, and recycle. So this is basically saying, like, take um, consideration to the whole cycle of your clothes. If they're ripped, repair them, lend them to a friend so you can get more use out of them, and then recycle them at the end of this, uh, when you finish with them. And there are so many awesome brands out there doing really good things, and um, really, like, flying the flag for ethical fashion. And I think, like, one of the best things we can do is support these brands, because the more demand there is for ethical fashion, the more it's going to be produced, and the more big brands who are doing things unethically will listen. Uh, and then moving on, and this is a huge, use your consumer voice. Uh, we all have the power to qu ask questions. So Fashion Revolution Week is coming up, and they ask us to say who made our clothes, and to really question our retailers, and, and to pressurizing them to really think about their supply chains. So final thought, call to action, uh, two, three things you can do is watch the true cost of the movie that's going to change your life, join the revolution, um, ask who made your clothes, and also you can um, follow me on Instagram or on my blog, it's called Into the Eco. And so yeah, this is a global issue, it's a lifestyle issue, it's an environmental issue, but don't forget, it's a feminist issue, and we can make the change. <laughs> <laughs>